Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB2191 Inverness sunglasses. So the style was first released all the way back by Ray-Ban in the late 1960s, early 1970s. And the style was actually popularized by the world famous golfer Arnold Palmer. And he actually ended up releasing his own special edition of the sunglasses, I believe in the early 1970s. Those sunglasses now sell for a thousand plus dollars on popular auction websites. And that's if you can even find them. What was really cool about his style is they actually had a little umbrella here on the metal accent in the outside corner of the sunglasses. So those old vintage styles are definitely sunglass royalty and are very hard to come by. Anyways, we're not going to be talking about that vintage pair in today's video. We are going to be talking about the new pair that Ray-Ban recently re-released. And this pair, of course, doesn't cost nearly that much money. They cost around 170 US dollars. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 54 millimeter lenses and an 18 millimeter bridge. And as far as looks go, I really, really do like the looks of these sunglasses. I really think these rectangular frames look really good on my face. And all the angles and everything here on the frame just look really, really good and definitely very unique. With a pair of these sunglasses, you're definitely going to stand out amongst a crowd of people wearing Ray-Ban original Wayfarers or Aviators or something like that. You're really going to stand out with this pair of sunglasses. And because of that, again, I really do like the styling. They're very bold and very cool. Honestly, I wouldn't really say that these look very 1970s to me. Maybe if you grew up in the 1970s, you'd kind of remember people wearing this style of sunglasses, but somehow these frames still feel modern in 2021, even though they are over 50 years old, which is really crazy. The colorway that I have on right now have Ray-Ban's tortoise frames, which actually actually, in my opinion, look more like Ray-Ban's striped Havana frames, but for whatever reason, Ray-Ban calls these frames their tortoise color. And the lens here are Ray-Ban just classic G15 non-polarized lenses. Of course, like every authentic pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, these have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the sunglasses, and they also have an etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens for authentication purposes. Now moving down to the outside temples, we can see a raised Ray-Ban logo here in both the left and the right temple of the frames. As far as build quality material goes, these sunglasses are made out of Ray-Ban's acetate material, which look absolutely beautiful out in the sunlight. And as far as hinges go, these sunglasses have very nice and premium seven barreled all metal hinges, which just feel really, really good when open up and when close them. And attached to these metal hinges is a metal stem that runs all the way through the temple to the ear rest, which is there for rigidity purposes. And also it's going to tell you to heat up these frames and bend them and give a custom fit to the face, uh, which is really cool as well. Now these sunglasses are made in Italy. They say that here in the inner right temple sunglasses, they say Ray-Ban made in Italy. And Italy is where Ray-Ban makes all their higher end, you know, more premium frames, and they make some of their cheaper frames in China. So it's really nice to see that this pair is made in Italy. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, these sunglasses are going to offer decent protection, but definitely nothing too crazy. Here up top, there's definitely a gap to sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the sides, again, there's a gap to sunlight in unprotected. I'd probably say that these have a little bit worse coverage from sun than a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but really there isn't a big difference as far as coverage goes. They're not going to be the most practical pair of sunglasses. If you're looking for a very practical pair, of course, you're going to want to stick to something like the Ray-Ban Aviators, but these are definitely going to get the job done. And again, there aren't huge gaps with sunlight in unprotected, so that is very important. Overall, I really, really do like these frames. Again, as far as styling goes, I just absolutely love them. They're just a very interesting and cool pair of sunglasses that you really don't see a lot of people wearing right now. Of course, I really do think these sunglasses are going to really explode in pop popularity over the next couple of years. So then maybe they're not going to be quite as novel. But as far as right now goes, I absolutely love these sunglasses and I think you guys are really going to like them a lot as well. Like I said, the build quality is very good. They are made out of a very high quality acetate material. They have all metal hinges. They have all glass lenses. There's really not
nothing to say bad about these frames. And as far as pricing goes, these are relatively competitive. Now, if you guys want to save a lot of money, I definitely do recommend checking the sunglasses out on Amazon because usually you can save about 10 to $30 by picking up on Amazon rather than picking them up in most stores or on Ray-Ban's website directly. So I am going to have a link in the description down below for you guys to check out these exact pair of sunglasses on Amazon. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.